Hey guys, got a video request on this uh, QJE PS30 SWIV. Um, basically, on where exactly the jumper wire had to be soldered into the power supply to convert the power supply from 240 volts that it originally was to 120 volts, which is North American. And uh, if so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the cover off and we're going to take a look at the inside of the power supply one more time and uh, show you exactly where the jumper wire is in the power supply to convert this to 120. So if you're interested in seeing this, stand by. Let's uh, pull the cover off and uh, show you how it's done. Hey folks, this is the inside of the power supply. I'm pretty sure I already did this video once before, but <clears throat> we'll do it again. Basically, the there's only one jumper wire you got to put in this power supply to convert it from 240 to 120, and that jumper wire is this yellow one right here. Uh, it connects between this point here next to the bridge rectifier. There's usually an open spot there. It's not connected, and the other spot you have to make your jumper is down there kind of hard to see it but it's down there between the two capacitors basically that's the jumper wire that, that has to be installed let's see if I can give you a bit more light to see here let me see Oh yeah, just to the right of that resistor, and between those two capacitors, straight down, you solder this yellow wire, white, blue, whatever color you want to use, between here and down there, and that's it. That's all it takes to convert this power supply to 120 volts AC. So, that was only a quick video, but it was a request from a subscriber, so, um, why not? Any question is worth a question, you know? Uh, to do, to put this in, this board has to come out in order to access the solder joints underneath the board, obviously. So there's a few... A few screws you gotta take out of this thing, and they're all on the bottom. You take this one, this one, this one, and this one out. Uh, let me see. Yeah, these four here you have to take out. Um, once you take those four out, this aluminum pad basically heat sink will come out. Um, then what you need to do, you need to remove that screw. Uh, there's a few screws in here actually. Where y'all do? Where do y'all do? Where do y'all do? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, one down there. Um, need to take the screw off of these two transistors. Outputs, ICs, whatever. Uh, unbolt this one over here. Basically, unbolt whatever it needs, whatever you need to do to take this circuit board out and then you can access the solder joints underneath the board it's a bit of a scrap job but you know it can be done obviously and this power supply i've had this one well i've had it hooked up since i've had the last since i've done the last video on this one and uh, it's been operating perfect it's uh there's no no issues with it it's uh working as it should and uh if you have one of these, obviously, uh, you can do this modification and convert it. There's nothing wrong with it. Anyways, I hope this uh, video answers your questions on how to convert the power supply from 240 to 120. Like I say, it's only a simple jumper wire. That's all you got to put in there. Anyways, all the best, folks. 7-3. And if you have any more questions about any topic at all, 
anything. Don't care what it is. Anything at all. And uh, just ask a question. Whatever, whatever you want to know, ask. And I'll uh, probably do a video uh, response on it. And anyway, folks, I'm Trey. Catch you later. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. See you Thank you.